Hey guys, Silence here here. Welcome back to another Let's Play of Let's Go Eevee. Uh, it's been a while since I did this video. In fact, I have tried two times and apparently both times failed. The first time was a bit more, um, I would say, annoying because I kind of saved over the game after I closed my recording and found out later that, well, the recording didn't happen at all so <laughs> I had to replay from beginning and try and match up as much as possible as I did with the first part so guys um, as you can see Eevee here has a different shape on his tail because this is actually a female Eevee so when we first started off this adventure it was a male Eevee but now we ended up with a female one so that's Okay, in my book, because it's always nice to have a female partner. <laughs> so anyways, uh, we're going to continue off from where we last off. I did try to catch all the Pokemon that we had previously. Uh, as you can see, I don't have Nidoran female inside this group. But I think that's fine. Um, I do have... Yeah, I, I could switch out if I want to. So maybe let's just do that. Okay, I'm going to remove Sparrow. Have my Nidoran female in there. Alright, so that, we're good to go. Um, yeah, so... This video has been pretty delayed, mainly because... Well, I have been pretty busy with work. Um, and trying to record the gameplay twice. And of course, finally when the day came, uh, Anime Festival Asia Singapore occurred. So I had even lesser time to do a recording or energy after that. In fact, I was planning to do a recording after the second day ended, or rather the third day ended. Um, but I was just too exhausted from all the concerts and all that. So yeah, forgive me on that, guys. <laughs> so anyway, guys, we're going to get back into the game right away. We are continuing off from where we left off in part one, which was the Viridian Forest. And hopefully this time around, you get to see me with the camera there we go I hope you guys can hear that I don't know whether it's too soft alright so lots of leveling up because it's a brand new game you won't really see this later on um, when you get further into the game because most of your Pokemon are probably very high in level and they require a lot more EXP to level up so yeah okay I definitely need to try and find a light source for my face because it's pretty dark even though I have my room lights on so yeah gotta get stuff alright let's catch a Pikachu so yeah, if you guys didn't know, you can catch both um, partner Pokemon in both games. There we go. Wait, what? There we go. So, yeah. Eevee appears later on. Um, on the old cycling road. But no, you, don't long, you no longer cycle in this game, strangely enough. I think that was a really... Um, kind of an important part of the nostalgia factor but sadly they removed it so that's a strange thing but we do get the right Pokemon so that's okay in my books <laughs> alright I think we have both Nidorans ready to fight Brock later on alright Pikachu added to the Pokedex so we want to catch as many Pokemon or evolve as many Pokemon as possible because um, later the requirements of the gyms tend to be um, a bit annoying because they require to have a certain quantity of Pokemon caught. Yeah. And of course some of Professor Oak's aids also require the same thing. Alright, so let's get down to business. Easy as pie. 
because EV is over leveled as always. <laughs> so it is possible to finish this game with just one Pokemon. In fact, I am almost done with my Let's Go Pikachu. Um, just using Pikachu alone. So yeah, so I think a lot of YouTubers online have actually recommended um, making this game a bit harder by not using your partner Pokemon at all. But I think it's kind of pointless if you do that uh, for Let's Play series because well, your partner Pokemon is um, the main thing about this game. So, let's see. I have Caterpies already. So, I do have a Weedle. So, I've got Pikachu. So, I think I'm done with Viridian Forest unless there's some rare Pokemon appearing later. So, Pidgeys definitely have them. Oh, so, okay. So, here's a thing about trainers in the wild. If you guys are planning to do a speed run, you might want to walk up to the trainer if you cannot avoid them. Um, go up to them straight in the face so that they do not go into their walking animation because apparently in this game, their walking animations are freaking slow. So yeah, um, like there was once I, I kind of accidentally bumped into a trainer that I could not evade without knowing that they were standing there. And oh my goodness, when they finally reached me, it almost felt like a whole minute. Well, it wasn't a whole minute, but it felt like a whole minute waiting for them to actually walk towards you to challenge you to a battle. Oh god. So yeah, if you guys are actually doing speed runs, um, just a small tip to you guys. So I'm sure most of you guys will probably know by, uh, by now because you guys probably might be veterinarian speedrunners. Who knows? Uh, Caterpie appearing there. Bell Sprout. There we go. So it's gonna walk to me again. Hmm. So beginning of the game, most of the trainers only have a single Pokemon, which is kind of strange if you think about it. Like they're standing in Viridian Forest, and there's like wild Pokemon running around them. You would have expected that they would have more Pokemon than one Pokemon in their belt. No? Isn't it like natural for you to catch them all? I don't know. Maybe because they don't have the Pokedex that they don't feel motivated to catch Pokemon at all. Huh. <laughs> so game game theory for you? Okay. Oh, that's about found something. What do you get? Okay, looks... Uh, okay, so that just basically made him happier. Got more berries. Lots of Weedles popping out here and there. Okay. Yeah, it's true. We can never have enough Pokeballs. Especially in this game. Um... So the Let's Go series really makes you drain your Pokeball quantities unlike the um, older mainstream games, I guess. Um, yeah, you don't really need to buy a lot of Pokeballs, must, uh, Great Balls and Ultra Balls. Um, the only time that you really use a ton of Pokeballs is basically catching legendaries, I suppose. So as you can see, Let's Go Eevee is really boring at the beginning because Eevee doesn't really have a fan, um, a unique move set um, right off the bat. Um, everything is just normal and tackle and quick attack basically does the same amount of damage just that quick attack is faster. So I don't know, game developers, you could make Eevee a bit more interesting at the beginning. So yeah, so for, for people who have been asking like which version should I buy? You know, to to I don't know, to get the most out of your money, or maybe get the most out of the time that you have spent for the game, like the fun value. Um, honestly speaking, even though Eevee has the larger uh, amounts of moves that you can actually teach it, um, exclusive moves for the game, but Eevee is definitely the most boring at the beginning. Um, to be honest. Um, as compared to Pikachu, because Pikachu actually has Thunder Shock at the start. 
uh, and of course quick attack so it lets you have a bit more very uh, variety in terms of battle choices okay I think we should be able to kill him here. I'm gonna just do a quick attack. I know Kakuna is definitely slower than Eevee, but just in case, you know. Um, we go, Eevee levels up. So, we are playing on the Pokeball Plus, so every, after every episode, I am gonna carry Eevee in this Pokeball Plus. Um, then we'll transfer Eevee back at the beginning of the game or every episode so we can see like the progression of the partner Pokemon with the Pokeball Plus accessory um, so you guys can evaluate for yourself um, how useful this thing is um, in terms of gameplay or use because this thing is capable of connecting to the Pokemon Go app uh, it does help out a bit um, in terms of uh, you know, connectivity and all that, so... Okay, um... Double kick? Oh yeah, we definitely need double kick for... Um... Brock? So, I am definitely going to toss away... Uh, you guys probably can't see. I'm just gonna choose Growl because... At least, um... Tail Whip is affecting the op opponent's defense, which is what most of our attack moves rely on in terms of doing damage all right so let's go around here don't want to miss anything bell sprout oh there's a pokeball here there we go we got a potion So far, so good. Uh, lots of wa- Oh! Ran into a bell sprout. <laughs> okay, might as well catch it for EXP sake. We're just gonna go through the Pokemon, the wild Pokemon, very quickly because, honestly speaking, um, they don't really give a lot of EXP. Okay, here we go. So, I've always been wondering since the start of any Pokemon game I've played, the designs of the characters or other NPCs, um, I'm surprised they didn't change anything at all. Like, all the lasses look exactly the same, all the bird keepers look the same. I mean, in the past, they were only like male and female gender of the same trainers um, but you know all the male and females look exactly the same so I'm surprised that Let's Go didn't improve on this you know Game Freak could have easily made all the trainers a bit more appealing you know so that the fandom can actually grow around the NPCs as well not just the main characters but you know, I don't know. Maybe they don't want to make the NPCs too um, outspoken in terms of personality compared to the main characters. But, you know, the main characters don't talk themselves. So, I don't know. What are the developers' choices in mind regarding this factor? So, yeah. You would have expected them to, like, given each of the different trainers a bit of uh, personality like maybe change the color of the clothing you know because each person definitely has different taste in clothing uh, even though they are the same kind of uh, hobby enthusiast I don't know so yeah like Les could be wearing a different school uniform as compared to some of the others 
you know? Hmm. So we're doing pretty fine with just Eevee alone. I do not want to try ending up playing this entire game with Eevee alone. So we're gonna switch things around when things get tough. Uh, definitely try to avoid using revives on any of the Pokemon we have on hand. Yeah, so that might make things a bit more interesting. Have you noticed the skinny trees on the roadside? They can be chopped down with the secret technique called chop down. So they are no longer called hidden machines, HMs. They're called secret techniques now, so that's pretty interesting. I don't know whether it was changed in the past, because I have really barely completed any of the previous um, mainline Pokemon games ever since Black and White 2. So yeah, that's why a lot of my videos on Pokemon series have stopped halfway because of lack of time and commitment, so that's pretty sad. That's why a lot of the Pokemon games I have yet to complete. <laughs> oh god dang it, Pidgey. There we go. Excellent, fantastic. Okay. Nice! One ball. Okay. Alright, not too bad. So they didn't really level up like crazy. I guess they are starting to become a bit more... Um, difficult to breed. No, not breed, race. So, hey, nice. I was hoping we'd run into each other. You know, there's a Pokemon gym up this way, right, CL? Uh, you can battle against the gym leader there. He, he's seriously strong. If you want to get stronger, you definitely gotta try to take him on. <laughs> Jeez, Eevee. You're ready for a good battle too, huh? Who wouldn't be? Alright then, uh, you're making me want to cheer you guys on too, so take these. Generous. Okay. I bought some for you with the prize money I've been earning in all my battles. Beat the gym leader CL and you can really call yourself a true trainer. Give it your best. So he just donated to us a few potions that he kind of... I don't know. If Let's say for example, um, if the rival in the game actually meets the same amount of trainers that you meet along the way, um, we should have the same amount of money. But yet, he is giving me money, I mean he's giving me his potions that he earned from um, battling these trainers. I don't think it's a very strategic move if you want to be a best Pokemon trainer out there in terms of battles, you know. You might, I don't know, there, there might be some kind of a competitive edge where you tend to be a bit more selfish, that kind of thing, so it's pretty strange, but I guess it's natural in terms of a Japanese anime um, or kids show that they want to nurture the um, spirit of competitiveness uh, in a more positive light. So yeah, but you know, we all know, we all know that when we get competitive, you know, we tend to be a bit more selfish. So yeah, we we don't really see this kind of things happening in real life where you. Like, oh hey, you're competing against me, uh, I'd like to see you grow as well, alongside uh, with what I'm doing. Oh, we, we don't have enough for Pokeballs. So, okay, so I'm gonna just buy 10. Yeah, so we tend to be a bit more selfish and we might even, we might even, might, I mind you, <laughs> um, try to, I guess cause your opponent a bit of difficulty or challenge along the way, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Okay, 
This is my sweet little Frey. When she walks with me, she sometimes finds items. Yeah, that's what my Bellsprout does as well. There we go. So Bellsprout found something. Bellsprout found something in the plants. Yeah, raspberry. Okay. Let's just intrude into people's homes as always in JRPGs. <laughs> Pokemon learn new moves as they grow, but some moves must be learned by TMs, okay? You got a better chance of catching a Pokemon if you throw a Pokeball and get them right in the center. Uh, we definitely know that since, uh, especially for us who have played Pokemon Go, we definitely are knowledgeable on terms of Let's Go's catching style. Okay. Alright, there's nothing else here. We could. Yeah, we could actually heal our Pokemon. We haven't really gone in yet. So let's do that before fighting Brock. There we go. Hmm. Alright, let's talk to all the people in the Pokemon Center. You never know whether they'll give you anything. Pewter City Specialty Pewter Crunchies. They are 500 cash. They're limited to one package per day though. So... I don't know, do I have enough money? Yeah, apparently I do. Uh, the webcam is blocking the amount that I have. So, it doesn't matter. I do have enough money for it. <laughs> okay, so we got it. Oh, it's, in, it's a medicine. Okay. I only want a Pikachu, so I'm training my Clefairy for one. Isn't Clefairy rarer than a Pikachu? Pikachu? We, we caught like, we saw like a bunch of Pikachus in the Viridian Forest. Go, just get out there and catch one, my goodness. Uh, that's a very unfair trait. Boy, kids are learning how to scam others at a really young age. Okay. Alright, so nobody's giving us anything free. We just bought a bunch of medicine from the old zoo, so, I don't know, usually Pokemon centers are filled with people that, you know, are pretty nice, they'll give stuff to you, uh, that's why I remember in the old games, so, okay, uh, hey lady, yeah, we just blew all our cash, so that's a bit too late, <laughs> alright, let's enter this home, I don't think it's sitting, but oh well. You are a Pokemon in a trade, so it's finicky and hard to handle. Pokemon that you get from trades grow faster, but they won't listen to a weak trainer in battle. If only we had some gym badges. You could just get one from Brock, it's just right behind your house, you know. Okay. Oh dear, what am I supposed to do with you, Slowpoke? Oh, hello there! Do you think you could do me a favor? Uh, I guess so? I want to go to the Pewter Museum, but my dear Slowpoke here is just refusing to budge. Oh. <laughs> do you think you could keep an eye on my dear Slowpoke for a little while? Uh, I guess so. Oh, thank you very much. In that case, please keep my dear Slowpoke company for a little while. Hmm. Okay. So I guess we're babysitting a Slowpoke. Dude! There are seats right there. Come on! Make use of them and sit down and just watch the thing. Oh god, do you actually have to squat and stare blankly at his pink body? It's like you're looking at him poop on the ground. Trying to poop on the ground. But it's gonna take ages. <laughs> like, Eevee is actually staring at Slowpoke as well. This is disturbing. Alright, so. Whoo! So, if you guys didn't know, Big Pearl actually sells for a bunch of cash. We just ran out of money, so she just gave us free cash. That's fantastic. Okay. 
You heard the stories that say Clefairy come from the moon. Uh, people started seeing them after moonstones fell on Mount Moon. Oh, that's pretty. Ah, uh, yeah. So if you guys aren't old Pokemon fans, you probably didn't know about that. In fact, the manga series mentions it a lot as well. Alright, our very first gym battle. Uh, I, I really like the new design of the gym. Like, I mean, the map, the mapping of the walking area is the same from the first generation. But, you know, the gyms in the first generation didn't have seats for um, viewers and all that stuff. So that's pretty interesting. I'm not a trainer, but I can tell if you're worthy of the challenge of challenging the gym leader. Now let's get started. The Pewter City gym only allows trainers who know type matchups to enter. There are a few types that have an advantage against the gym leaders, rock type Pokemon. But for trainers who have never challenged a gym before, we have to use either grass or water type Pokemon. You have to show me a grass or water type Pokemon if you want to face the gym leader. So we do have Bell Sprout, that's why I suggested we catch everything in sight. Because we need to fill up the Pokedex and at the same time clear these annoying requirements required from the um, NPCs. So yeah, head on in and aim to become a Pokemon champion. Alright, don't mind if I do. I'm just gonna whoop all their asses. This is the Pewter City Gym. Trainers here are a bit different from those you face so far. How so? You guys have Pokemons and that I just kick their ass out of. So, if you, if, you, if the only difference that you are from those trainers are probably the Pokemon types, or you know they don't own Rock type Pokemon, so I guess well, let's just double kick for the win. You see, I, the game is so easy on its own. Like you don't need to switch Pokemon, you do fine. Hmm. And the other thing that's pretty interesting is that with your partner Pokemon in the Pokeball Plus, they also level up because the distance that they walk um, after they come back from um, your whole day of work maybe, you definitely end up leveling your partner Pokemon maybe like two to three times. So that's making the game even, uh, even easier than it should be. Which well, is fantastic for beginners I guess. No, but. For players who want a bit of a more challenge, uh, I guess it's kind of an annoying um, add-on, I suppose. So yeah, like I was mentioning about the NPCs, designs, you know, other than the genders, the clothes designs are pretty much the same. Alright, so double kick for the win. Okay, I think tackle and quick attack won't do much damage now, considering that he increases defense, so let's just go with another double kick. kick for the KO, there we go. Fantastic. So Eevee levels up again. Alright. And here we go, the big boss himself. Um, let's just save just in case. Never know if any critical attacks might come in. And wipe the floor. With, I mean, we do have six Pokemon, so I doubt that we'll get wiped. Alright, so you can just see by looking at my Pokemon how rock hard my real power is. My Pokemon are all hard as rock and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all rock types. <laughs> You're going to challenge me even knowing that you lose? That's what uh, I can't read. That's what a trainer's honor demands. 
So be it. For Wakanda! <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to do it. I mean, it's been in my mind since I played Let's Go Pikachu. You know, I mean, Brock has had this pose for a while, but the... I don't know. Black Phantom comics have been out for a very long time as well. So who came first? Brock or Black Panther? Hmm. <laughs> so be it, show me your best. Alright, we beat a bunch of Geodu just now so we can do the same. Um he has only two Pokeballs, so my guess. Uh really I don't really have to guess. I know. I know Onyx is his second Pokemon. But I would have liked to see Brock use his anime team. Like Valpix and uh who else did he have? Um I can't remember. I, I know Valpix is definitely one of them. Hmm. So the his Geodo is definitely tougher than the the picnickers that we battled earlier. There you go. Alright, Bell Sprout leveled up. No, I'm not gonna switch. Because I don't think any of my other Pokemon actually are capable enough to do more damage than Vivi. Oh wow! Oh, with even even with a critical attack, that's pretty low on damage. All right, we just gotta get this attack to land. It should be. F I don't know. Can quick attack actually knock out Onyx? Oh! Oh, we did it! <laughs> I kind of expected the quick attack to maybe like leave Onyx with a single HP. Considering that it's not the best uh, attack type to use against an Onyx. Oh well. A win's a win, so. <laughs> Oh, now they learn. Ah, oh, god dang it. So, <laughs> if they had learned it earlier, we could have actually um, used them for, you know, fighting Brock. Okay, Nidoran female should be learning double kick as well. There we go. She has Growl, she has Scratch, Tail Whip. I think Growl is gonna go bye bye. It's kind of useless. Alright, there we go. Seems I underestimated you. Yeah, got money. As proof of your victory, take an official Pokemon Bleak Badge, a Boulder Badge. So, I don't know whether you guys actually like the high five thing. It really reminds me of Mario Party for the Nintendo Switch. If you guys haven't played it yet, um, it's basically whenever you do something right with your partner, you high five each other. And then there's a chance for you to gain more coins in Mario Party. Uh, it was a pretty annoying function, but I guess they wanted to make it a bit more um, wholesome with your partners or family members or friends you are playing with in po uh, Mario Party. But it was pretty annoying. And I see it here again in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I don't know. I, it, 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 it rubs me in the wrong way. So, with a boulder badge, Pokemon up to level 20 from other trainers will listen to you without question. Oh, and wait, take this with you too. Hey, we got a TM. If you use a TM or technical machine, you can teach your Pokemon to move within it. 
TM can be used as many times as you like, so use it on any Pokemon you want. Alright, deals damage to your opponent Pokemon by ramming with them with a head as hard as rock. Thanks! See you around! So, the bottom left hand corner has an icon with Eevee shaking the controller. So that's basically what we'll do. So it will lead you to the page to pet Eevee. Alright, Eevee. I envy the voice actress for Eevee. She can roll her tongue. I can't roll my tongue. I, I know, it's like a... I don't know, it's like a selective skill for every person in the world. Like, not everyone can roll their tongue. I can't roll my tongue, so... Hmm... Can you guys roll your tongue? Let me know in the comments down below. Hey, you there, newbie! Oh, it's blue! <laughs> Gary Oak. So, don't tell me, you gotta be CL, right? Uh, I am? That's amazing? Huh, I knew it. I'm always right. Arrogant ass? Okay. I'm blue, double D, double D. Uh, okay. <laughs> I apologize uh, for that very bad pun, um, but you know, if you're from that era, you probably know why I said that, so okay, fine. I heard from Grams that two new kids set out from Pallet Town to become trainers, just like I did once. Wait, like you did once? So is this game like after red, blue, yellow, green? Huh. So I came to check you out. I was thinking you might want some advice on how to beat the gym uh, from an expert trainer like myself. But looks like I showed up too late, huh? Seems you're not too shabby yourself, so I guess you earn a reward, newbie. Wow, well, people are also generous. You put the great balls in your catching cart. Okay, those would be even better for catching Pokemon than playing with Pokeballs. And hey, the thing you've got there, that's a Pokedex, right? So Grams finally went and made one. He used to make me just scribble on a map with a pencil about where I encountered Pokemon. You better do a good job helping him out. He may be Professor Oak to you, but sure, he's an old coot, you know, and he, but he's still my Grams. Smell you later, newbie. Okay, so, you know, considering that he has gone on an adventure before, he could have given me his Ultra Balls or even a Master Ball. Why give me Great Balls when you can purchase stronger balls than Great Balls? Oh well. Okay, we're just gonna get more balls. Just used a lot of balls in one phrase, so. Let's buy more Pokeballs. I'm gonna grab 20. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna sell. I guess we can sell. Wait, did I see? Oh, they have great balls! God dang it! Oh, okay, so. It was kind of slow to realize. Let's sell with a big pearl. So that's what we got for staring at a slow poke for too long. Okay, we have 120. I guess we could grab, no, we could grab more great balls. Why do I keep clicking on sell? I'm not gonna sell you any more stuff. Uh, no, not Pokeball, great balls. Okay, we can't buy 20, so let's go with a 10. There we go. Alright, off we go, continuing our adventure, but first let's go to the Pokemon Center. Eevee is bushed. Alright, there we go.
Alright, off to the next part of our journey. Uh, if I'm not wrong, I think it's Mount Moon already. This way. Oh. Oh no, look at her walk so slow. Oh god. Okay, she has one Pokemon only. Oddish! Nice! A bit of a difference for a while. Okay. We could have used a flying Pokemon, but I'm uh, just too lazy to change. Uh, wow, it's Survivor Taco! Okay. Okay, let's end this quickly. Alright, we're good to go. Oh, you're a new trainer. I'm a coach trainer. Coach trainers are the ones who stand in various places to train trainers. I'm one of them. We coach trainers are strong, if I do say so myself. If you want to try out your strength, you should definitely battle us. And that is what I will do. Whoop your ass! Come on! Let's go! Hmm, interesting name. Kareem. Don't really hear these kind of names in Pokemon games very often. I think. Okay, so fighting moves definitely won't be that fantastic on Bulbasaur. He has to go with the tackle. Not a lot of damage though. Uh, we could Tail Whip it for a finishing blow. Alright, quick attack for the win. What? Oh, he only has one Pokemon? Uh, so much for training us. Okay. Eevee doesn't level up, but that was pretty much a good chunk of EXP at the beginning of the game. Hmm. You defeated a coach trainer just like that. In honor of your strength, I have a gift for you. Oh, revives. Um, we're gonna try and avoid using them as much as we can. Here we go. Come on. I had to talk to him just to fight him. He's like rotating away from me. See, if we had Pikachu right now, it would have been so much easier. But we are stuck with Eevee. <laughs> Alright, so a tackle. Wow, one hit KO, okay. Uh, it's very anticlimactic. And only one Pokemon. Oh, god dang it. Honestly, I wish Game Freak would sometimes have uh, like a new game plus for Pokemon. Oh, wait. Oh dang. Was I supposed to jump? Okay, apparently no, I'm not supposed to. Let's get back up there. Oh, I could Oh! Interesting. No, I, I want the EXP, so let's try not to avoid trainers for the meantime. Unless we are really in dire need of healing, then I guess we could evade some like ninjas.
We go, we got Tekko. With level 7 Nidoran. Ow, ow! Alright, end this quickly. Fantastic. Is that the only Pokemon she has? I mean, oh, it's a he. He has? <laughs> Alright. Uh, done like dinner, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay. Alright, let's move on. There's a sparrow. Do we have a sparrow? Just checking. Do we have a sparrow? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. Um. I used to remember catching Jigglypuffs in this grass patch. God dang it, Sparrow! Okay, asking for trouble. Let's catch you just for the EXP. God dang it. There we go, excellent. Nice, level 10 each. Okay. There should be another trainer here. Yeah, there we go. So I kind of remember the early portions of the game. Uh, I can't see for sure I remember the later portions because... Uh, well... I remember I didn't really like going through Mount Moon and... Uh, Especially the Indigo Plateau. Yeah. Because those caves were really annoyingly huge. Or really mazy. Uh, as, as a young player, it was really... I don't know. It was really challenging in some way because of the vast area of the caves, mountains. And of course the annoying wild appearances that happens in the cave and mountains as well. So, yeah, I didn't really have a very good time in the caves of the Pokemon games. There we go. Okay, any special Pokemon to catch? So far, Rattatas and Sparrows. Yeah, there's a Pokeball here. Got Leo. So a trainer here. <laughs> Shorts enthusiast. Interesting. Okay. So Razata does have quick attack, so let's just use our quick attack just in case. Hopefully it hits. Oh yeah, there we go. One hit KO. That's what I wanted. Alright. What about you? Okay, he's up for a challenge as well. So if I jumped from there, I definitely would have ran into him. Kakuna? I don't know. Do we actually one hit KO a Kakuna? I don't think we can. Whoa, we actually did it! <laughs> EV are too strong. Okay. We're doing pretty good though. Best part found something. More raspberries, that's nice. Okay. More revives. 
Alright. What about you? What are you sitting on the rock for? Let me talk to you. Come on. God dang it, I'm pressing A. Whew! Just a little rest here. That tunnel from Cerulean City takes a lot out of you. Okay. Oh, there's a trainer here. Alright, so let's let's just clear him off once and for all. Hey, Meowth! Okay, we do have fighting moves, so we can handle Meowth quite easily. And once again, it's the only Pokemon. That's kind of sad. Ah, uh, definitely shot a bit, yeah. It's the same level as me. Alright. They're really, really generous in giving all this stuff. I, I don't know whether how much TMs cost in the Pokemon Rock. Actually, we do because the Pokemon Mutt, um, later on, the gigantic one, they do sell TMs. So, why are these people giving us expensive TMs? Huh. I'm gonna go wonder. Alright, there's a trainer here. Let's talk to him first. Kill the Mount Moon from far away because I want a Pokemon I can ride on. That's right, you can ride on certain Pokemon like Onyx. Oh. Okay, thanks for the hint. Alright, Nurse Joy, do your job. Thanks for waiting. Thank you, thank you. Alright, so let's talk to all the peeps in here. Hey, wait, didn't I see you at the last Pokemon Center? You see, this is what I mean. NPCs that look exactly the same, they could have changed things up a bit. Oh well. Hello there, lady. Have I got to do just... Wait, are you going to sell me the same stuff? Oh, it's a Magikarp. 500? Do I have enough? Okay, might as well buy it from you. Fine. Ew, 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 at least we have a water Pokemon now. Famous for being very unreliable. <laughs> okay, let's talk to the next person. If you catch a lot of Pokemon, you end up with more than you can carry around your party. But all these ones you can't carry, you can just show the uh, stole in the stole in the Pokemon box uh, in your bag, so no sweat. Plus, no matter how full your Pokemon box gets, it's easy to search to find the Pokemon you want. Really? I had a very hard time with the Pokemon sorting options. Oh well. Team Rocket attacking the good people of Cerulean City are in their own homes. And a day goes by without Team Rocket being in the news for some crime or another. Hmm. Okay, so... But I guess with me around now, it's a whole new havoc. <laughs> oh no, this boy is making me sleepy as well. Okay. When Jigglypuff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Me too. Alright. Okay, I have all my Pokeball Pokeballs on my belt. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Yup, that do it. No matter how many Pokemon ha you have in your Pokemon box, you can only take 6 into battle. That we all know if you are an old-time Pokemon fan. Okay, so let's get out of here. 
isn't anything else in this Pokemon Center. We're gonna head into Mount Moon, which is where I will end this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, as always, if you like what you see in here, do let me know by hitting that like button and commenting down below. Give me your thoughts on what you like about Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu. Let's discuss what are the things that maybe you disapprove of the game itself. Uh, there are some factors that I like, some factors that I do not like, you know, and I do mention them in my Let's Play videos uh, whenever they occur, I guess. God dang it, stay still, Zubat. <laughs> Alright, ah, so I'm just gonna run away. Hey <laughs> guys, thank you guys once again for watching. If you're not subscribed just yet, subscribe to the channel by clicking the button down, down below. That it should be. Ah, camera angles. This side, there, there, there. We beside the bell icon, which you might want to hit as well, so you can be notified by YouTube via email whenever I do upload a brand new content. And I'll see you guys in the next Let's Go Eevee gameplay video. Bye!